The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry. Calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. They do not tell us points paid, points received, or APRs. They only tell us the number to put into your mortgage calculator. Oh, yeah, if you don't have one, ronismylender.com, ronismylender.com. You can get our mobile app totally free. And, yes, it does have a mortgage calculator right on there. But OBMMI tells us the number to put into the calculator to find out what your monthly payment will be. Ooh, that's an ugly looking chart there, Josh. Every, you know, only in, in mortgage world is, is an ugly chart. Everything's in green, right? That's, that's kind of odd there. So conventional rates, 30 year fixed up 7.122. Jumbo, 30 year fixed up 7.564. FHA, 30 year up 6.805. USDA, 30 year fixed up 6.783. That's the rural areas, generally no down payment. And the best loan on the market, 30-year VA loan, up 6.741. Every one of them are up. And the way the market's looking right now, they'll probably be up again tomorrow unless the market turns around. If you want our market commentary, each morning as early as the data allows, rsrmarketminute.com, rsrmarketminute.com. Send that out as early as the data allows. Usually a two-, three-page big type because I can't see very well. But two to three pages of our market commentary. We also have to put our all our compliance stuff on the back end of it. So that's where that is, rsrmarketminute.com. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the markets today. Well, as we talked about a little earlier, the S&P 500, well, it's uh, turned around. It's flat right now, up 0.22. The 10-year Treasury yield up five basis points, 4.65. Hoping that stays below 4.73 at the close today. Mortgage-backed securities, the bond down 18 basis points. When the bond goes down, the yield goes up. Not a good sign right now. So that's still moving up. Hopefully, we'll hit some level of uh, 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 support so that bond doesn't go down too much further. Fed Chair Jerome Powell speaking this afternoon. Uh, about I think it's 10, about 10, 15 our time, so we'll be watching that. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac announced if a buyer agent commission is paid through a seller concessions that would not toward allowable concessions. That's in the weeds. So that's another one of those things that part of that National Association of Realtors issue. Don't worry about it. If you're using a real estate professional that listens to Ron Segal Radio or is partnered with our lending team, we've shown them everything they need to know to deal with this whole issue. Uh, it's a club. The National Association of Realtors is a club. Are you a member? If you're not a member, don't worry about it. Keep doing things the way you think is best for you and your family. CoreLogic Rental Report released there for the month of February, showing that rent prices are up 3.4% year over year, which is a pay, pretty big increase from 2.6% in the previous report and the highest year over year level in 10 months. The latest CPI report showed that shelter costs rose by 5.7% which is 2.3% higher than what we are actually seeing because of the lag. When you multiply that difference by the shelter waiting in the core CPI, it shows that shelter is being overstated by about 1%. That would mean that core CPI should be closer to 2.8% instead of 3.8%. Doing the same exercise with the Fed's favorite measure, PCE, and you get 2.3% instead of 2.8% that's being reported. The National Association of Home Builders, NAHB, Housing Market Index, measures builder confidence remained at 51, which is the highest level in nine months, and is in expansion territory finally. Here's the breakdown of the internal metrics. Current sales rose one point to 57. That's expansion. Future expectations fell two points to 60. Still expansionary. Buyer traffic rose one point to 35. Not good, but it is the highest level since August. Future sales remained in expansion but fell two points because of the higher mortgage rate outlook. Buyer traffic continues to slowly rise overall. Good report. According to the National Association of Home Builders, 22% of builders, the percentage of builders cut home prices. 
down from 24% last month and 36% in December. Use of sales incentives ticked down to 57% in April from a reading of 60% in March. This shows that builders have a bit more pricing power and speaks to strength. What does that mean? One of the things that builders want, they, they, they work the hardest for, is to make sure that the price stays up on their properties because that just leads to future phases. If they're doing price cuts, people don't realize, feel that there's any urgency in purchasing. So they'll do all kinds of things to keep the price up, the number, the headline number. And what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll do those concessions that I talked to you about when we discussed rsrbuydown.com, rsrbuydown.com. Builders understand that they've done it for years. So they've been doing that. They're not doing quite as much of it right now because they don't think they have to. Housing starts and permits fell almost, housing starts fell almost 15% in March after a nice gain in February. The annualized pace has fallen from 1.55 million units to 1.32 million units. Remember, we need 1.9 million for household formation. Starts are now down 4.3% year over year. Single family starts, which are most important, fell 12.4% to 1.02 million unit annualized pace. Single family starts are now up 21% year over year. There were just 299,000 multifamily starts, which is the lowest level since 2017, not including COVID. There's a near record high 957,000 multifamily units under construction, which should add some supply and ease rental price pressures. Building permits, which is future supply, fell 4.3% to 1.46 million unit annualized pace, now up 1.5% year over year. Single family permits fell almost 6% to under a million units annualized pace. Hmm. Completions fell 13.5% last month to 1.47 million unit annualized pace, while single family fell 10.5% to 950,000 unit pace. Bottom line, we may see some easing in the rental market in the near term, but home prices should be well supported as there's not enough inventory supply coming to the market. And that is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.